Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will understand faults and failures. In systems, things can go wrong at any point of time. Let's understand this. If you have a hard disk, it can crash at any moment. If you have a RAM, it can crash at any moment or even there can be a power failure at any given point of time. All these can be categorized under having hardware faults. Let's say if you are writing code in production, then you can see bugs in production code at any point of time which you need to fix. Otherwise, it can lead to errors in some of the services. So this can be categorized under a software fault. And you can also have such scenarios where uh, you are working on systems and you have accidentally unplugged the cables or you have plugged the network cables to some wrong port. These comes under the human errors and hence leads to human faults. Now all these actually leads to incorrect state of the system and we can define the incorrect state of the system as fault. Now let's take an example of Amazon app to get better understanding. Let's say that a user is trying to see his cart. So he'll click on the my cart button uh, so that uh, he can see what all are added into the cart. Now as soon as the my cart button has been clicked it will actually request what all has been added to the cart of that particular user. So it will query the database and if the database is up and running fine then it will reply with whatever was present in the cart but let's assume that the database actually crashed and hence there will be no reply. There can be a timeout at the Amazon app and so the user will not be able to see his cart. So here the crashing of the database is the fault and uh, the service which was show my cart was not working because of the fault in the database is leading to the failure of the service. So a fault has led to a failure of the service. Now you can see that the user will know that the particular service of showing the cart is not working but he doesn't know what is the reason. So you can say that the failures can be visible to the users but the faults may not be directly visible to the users, right? Now the next question which comes to mind is will the fault always lead to failure? Now let's take another example of the same Amazon app. Now again you have a user and uh, let's say he is trying to query my card. Now this is shown by number one and let's assume that R1 is actually the database which is containing the information about all the users card. Okay so when it is queried let's say R1 has crashed and so uh, there will be either no reply from R1 or there will be an error. So the Amazon app will come to know that database R1 has actually crashed and hence if we are maintaining a replica like all the data of R1 has been already copied and maintained as a synchronized database in R2 then the Amazon app will in turn actually ask R2 for the same information about my card. And if R2 is up and running, then it will show all the items for that particular user. Now in this case, the database R1 which actually crashed is a fault. But then you think about what happened to the service of show my cart. Actually the show my cart is working and therefore the user will never know that the database had actually crashed, that R1 had crashed, right? So in this case, Fault happened but it did not lead to failure of any service. So we can say that fault can happen at any time but fault will only lead to a failure if it disrupts a service or if it stops a service, right? With this example we can conclude that we may not be able to always uh, stop faults because hardware crash can happen at any time and we already saw many points in the previous uh, slide like uh, we can have a lot of reasons for having faults and, and these reasons are, may not be under our absolute control so we may not be able to absolutely stop faults from happening but then we can minimize failures like you can see this example where we used replication to actually avoid failure in case of a crash but then we cannot also avoid failure with 100% accuracy because it may so happen that R1 and R2 both crashed and so this fault will actually lead to a failure. 
but one of the hard disk crashing will not lead to failure right we will discuss more points about how to recover uh, from these tricky faulty situations in our later videos i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in if you like this video then do follow us for more such system design content see you guys in the next video thank you